Hello, welcome. I'm Pastor Burke Owens with the St. Helena United Methodist Church, and I'm reading today from the Gospel of Matthew. This is our Lenten devotional, reading the Gospel over the course of Lent for the last many weeks, and we're getting close to the end. Holy Week is coming up in just a day, and uh, so we're on chapter 20 of the Gospel of Matthew. I'll read it now, and then you can listen to it when you like or hopefully you're reading at home. It's a wonderful practice to read Matthew at this time as we get ready for Easter. All right. The kingdom of heaven is like a landowner who went out early in the morning to hire workers for his vineyard. After he agreed with the workers to pay them a denarian, he sent them into the vineyard. Then he went out around nine in the morning and saw others standing around the marketplace doing nothing. He said to them, you also go into the vineyard and I'll pay you whatever is right. And they went. Again, around noon and then at three in the afternoon, he did the same thing. Around five in the afternoon, he went and found others standing around. And he said to them, what are you doing here? You have nothing to do all day long? Because nobody has hired us, they replied. He responded, you also go into the vineyard. When evening came, the owner of the vineyard said to his manager, call the workers and give them their pay, beginning with the last ones hired and moving on finally to the first. When those who were hired at five in the afternoon came, each one received a, a denarian. Now when those hired first came, they thought they would receive more, but each of them also received a denarian, no matter when they worked, from early to late, the same pay. When they received it, they grumbled against the landowner. Those who were hired last worked one hour and they received the same pay as we who did even though we had to work the whole day in the hot sun. But the landowner replied to one of them, friend, I did you do wrong. Didn't I agree to pay you a denarian? Take what belongs to you and go. I want to give this to the one who was hired last the same as I gave it to you. Don't I have the right to do what I want with what belongs to me? Or are you resentful because I'm generous? So those who are last will be first, and those who are first will be last. As Jesus was going up to Jerusalem, he took the twelve aside by themselves on the road. He told them, look, we are going up to Jerusalem. The human one will be handed over to the chief priests and the legal experts. They will condemn him to death. They will hand him over to the Gentiles to be ridiculed, tortured, and crucified, but he will be raised on the third day. Then the mother of Zebedee's sons came to Jesus along with her sons. But bowing before him, she asked a favor of him. What do you want? He asked. She responded, say that these two sons of mine will sit, one on your right and one on your left in your kingdom. Jesus replied, you don't know what you're asking. Can you drink from the cup that I'm about to drink from? They said to him, we can. He said to them, you will drink from my cup, but to sit at my right or left hand isn't mine to give. It belongs to those for whom my father prepared it. Now when the other 10 disciples heard about this, they became angry with the two brothers. But Jesus called them over and said, you know that those who rule the Gentiles show off their authority over them and their high-ranking officials order them around. But that's not the way it will be with you. Whoever wants to be great among you will be your servant. Whoever wants to be first among you will be your slave. Just as the human one didn't come to be served, but rather to serve and to give his life to liberate many people. As Jesus and his disciples were going out of Jericho, a large crowd followed them. When two blind men sitting along the road heard that Jesus was passing by, they shouted, Show us mercy, son of David, Lord. Now the crowd scolded them and told them to be quiet, but they shouted even louder, Show us mercy, Lord, son of David. Jesus stopped in his tracks and called to them. What do you want me to do for you? He asked. Lord, we want to see, they replied. Jesus had compassion on them and touched their eyes. Immediately they were able to see, and they followed him. Gospel of Matthew, chapter 20. 
see you soon for more. But remember, those of you that are reading along, we're now reading a chapter a day. So tomorrow, Sunday, Palm Sunday, we'll read chapter 21, Monday chapter 22, Tuesday chapter 23, etc. until we read the final chapter next weekend. God bless you.